Well, hi there. It's Sandy Alnock with a little Bible journaling therapy for myself. <laughs> this may not be a page anyone else will do, but the Lord took me to Genesis chapter 11, the story of the Tower of Babel. And let me read it. It's kind of an extended section of it here that I will share with you. They said to each other, come, let's make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They used brick instead of stone and tar for mortar. Then they said, come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we will be scattered over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower the people were building. The Lord said, if as one people speaking the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other. So the Lord scattered them from there over all the earth and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of the whole world. From there, the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth. Well, I have had a really awful week and I don't think I'm alone in that. About 10 days ago or so was when the Capitol riots happened, the insurrection, where people went to the capital of the United States and marched on the building and then started beating up on police officers and breaking into the building and stealing things. It was, it was a mess. It was awful. The next day, one of the police officers who had been injured ended up dying of his injuries. I mean, it, we thought it was bad that day. It was really awful. But as this last week has gone on and more information has come out and more footage of what happened there and more pictures and stories from other police officers and interviews with people who were there and who had been at the event, we're finding out a lot more. And it's even more heartbreaking. It's even more awful than I thought it was when it first happened. And the part for me that has been most devastating and just, just heart crushing is how many people there did this in the name of Jesus. Finding out that there are people who have read the very book that I treasure and somehow thought that it said they should go and do something like this is beyond my capacity to understand. I, I don't get that. I don't understand it. But I saw just interview after interview with people who said God told them to do this. That makes no sense to me. But when things don't make sense, I turn to the Lord and I say, will you explain this to me? I don't understand. And he took me to Genesis 11. There's something about reading about our history in the Bible that makes me realize we're not unique. We're not new at this. This is not something we came up with, we've always done this. And the people back in this day did the same kind of thing. They were building a tower to themselves. They thought they were all that in a bag of chips. And God said no, and then he punished them. And he divided them, he sent them to live around different places in the world and speak different languages. But I was really asking him what this tower was really all about and how it relates to why he took me here in, in scripture. And as the days went on meditating on this, I started realizing how many towers we have built in our lives. We're so divided on so many things. And each one of those things for a lot of us is a tower. It's a big monolith that we plant in the ground and we say, my perspective on this is the only perspective that can be had. And if you don't agree with it, and if you post something on Facebook that's the opposite perspective, then I'm going to unfriend you. And we just we draw the lines with these towers we build. We stand on that instead of standing on our faith in God and on what he says we're supposed to do. We're supposed to love each other. How do we love each other when we build these big towers that are all about making us feel better? They're all about making us feel right. And and joining us with other people with the same perspective so that we'll see theirs and say, oh yeah, see, I'm right, we agree. And 
the the whole idea of of the Tower of Babel started making more sense to me as I was just praying through the week. So the, the art here, as you can see, was really simple. I wouldn't expect anybody else to do this page because I'm not sure how many people have ever journaled in Genesis 11, but there you go. I just made a swoosh for the building, for the tower with oranges and browns, added the sky around it, let the paint run together because I wanted this thing to be a mess. These towers are ugly and awful and they're built terribly. We are not good at doing this and yet we keep trying. And these towers have got to go. It's filled with question marks, all these people who can't talk to each other because they now speak different languages. And that's what it feels like our, our world is like around us. I, I talk to people who have a different media diet than I do. You know, we watch a different TV channel and we can't even talk about the same news because different TV channels will talk about totally different issues and they're, they're coming at things from political perspectives instead of like what's true. And it's very frustrating that I feel like I can't talk to people half the time because we're speaking different languages. We are so siloed from each other. And it's because we've got these stupid towers. The tower could be a political party. It could be just a, a philosophy on life. It could be anything. It could be like the kind of food you eat. I have a friend who is like really into his keto diet. And if you are not into keto diet, you are nothing to him. It's really bizarre. I, I, but I don't even know enough about it to have a conversation. But what God started pointing out to me was that I do have my towers too. And that there's no way I can fix anybody else's. I can't, I can't wave a magic wand and make everybody play nice together. But I can take down my towers one by one as God shows them to me. As he points out that I'm standing too firmly in a perspective and not firmly enough in Jesus, I can take that down. I can choose to walk away from it. And all of us need to learn to do that. It's just really hard. It's difficult to do, but we're going to have more events like we did 10 days ago if we don't learn how to do this. So I wish this was more uplifting. Maybe next week will be a little bit of a cheerier video. I'll see you guys again next Sunday. Bye-bye.